Hello, beautiful people of the internet. Tis me, Vicky, coming at you looking super tired after a long day of work. It's nighttime, I am getting ready for bed right now, and so I thought, what better time than to show you a pin curl, well not really pin curl, more like toilet paper tutorial, on how to get yourself some nice fluffy vintage curls. I learned this style years ago when I was about 11 or 12 years old, and to be quite frank, I hated it, because I had no idea how to style my hair or what to even do with curls like these, because they are very intense. Um, I had no idea how to brush it out or anything, so I right away like almost cried and went and wash my hair after I did these. But now that I've learned and grown, actually, I've realized they're fabulous. I think this method of styling your hair is really, really great um, for people like me who are really sensitive and can't sleep with like those pin curls, bobby pins, rollers, pillow curler thingies I've tried and those are probably the best and the closest that I've gotten to being comfortable. But even for those, the wires have ended up sticking out and poking my head in the middle of the night eventually. So toilet paper curls are the way to go for me. And obviously every method's gonna have its good and its bad side. This is toilet paper and as you're gonna see, um, it is a little bit delicate to work with, but the upside is that you will be sleeping like a queen at night. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna stop talking now and do my hair. I like to get my toilet paper strands ready before I even get started on my hair. So I'm taking two squares of toilet paper and folding those in the long way. And I like to repurpose these and save them so I'm not as wasteful. So I put them in a little Ziploc bag and use them as much as I can. Yay! Next, I take my brush chair and I part it in the way I know I'm gonna wanna style it after, and then I am applying some mousse. This is the OGX Coconut Curls Mousse. I know that a lot of ladies like to use setting lotion. I have not found one that is for me. I'm trying to look for something that doesn't damage my hair, so I use this and it works just as great. Um, so I'm applying it all over my hair. Some folks like to apply products strand by strand. I feel like that's too much product. So I try to apply it a little bit more conservatively. I do try to get it all over. I do wet each strand with a little water. This is not a wet set. It's more like a humid set um, because you are working with paper. And then once that's done, uh, I roll it all in. The first strand at the front of my head, I always roll inwards because that's the style I like. And then once I do that, I tie it at the top and that is it. You are donezos. Yay! So another thing about my method when rolling these is that I like to first, if you see here, I'm starting at the middle of the hair strand and I wrap the bottom half around and then I continue wrapping and I bring it all up, making sure every little strand is nicely tucked in. I just feel like this is the best method when using toilet paper. And as always, you wanna make sure that the ends are always rolled in and tucked in nicely. You can never say that too much. A couple of other things to keep in mind. As I mentioned earlier, this is toilet paper and so it can rip. So that's probably one of the major downsides to doing this. Um, yes, you will sleep comfortably, but that's because it's little fluffy paper. So just be careful and be gentle when rolling these. Um, I have found that actually napkins work really great too, who'd have thunk? So I should have probably named this the napkin tutorial because I ended up using kitchen napkins for the rest of it and they worked perfectly. Actually, I think I may be using that. Moving forward. I mean, the good thing about toilet paper too is that when traveling, most places have it. So if you forget your rollers or you just don't have room to pack them, this is a nice alternative. So here I am with all of them rolled up. I don't really have a method in a certain way that I set them. Um, I'm actually a pretty messy hair roller lady. After that, you are done and you will be looking so attractive. And just so you can see, this is how my head looks from the back. I try to not roll them too big, sort of medium sized strands. Now I just go to bed. Hi everyone. So it is the next morning now. I have slept on these and yeah, they did pretty well. All but one stayed in place. One in the back did unravel, and that's because I didn't tie it back enough, but I caught it in the middle of the night when I woke up. Um, so I just kind of put it back in there. But yeah, they all held really well. Other than that, nothing ripped. So now I'm just gonna take them out. Let's see how these curls did, and then I'm gonna brush it out. Let's start with the very first one up here in the front. <laughs> Ooh, nice. No real method to taking them off, just like I put them on. I start at the front and work my way through the back. And of course, I'm gentle when taking them off too, cause I like to reuse, as I said, these little pieces of paper. Animal crackers in my soup, bunnies and rabbits loop-de-loop. -loop. 
All right, so once they are all out and you are looking like Shirley Temple, it is time to brush these out. As you can see, the curls turned out pretty darn well. They are nice tight curls that hold very well. Fabulous, oh yeah. So first, before I even brush, I like to pull on the curls with my hands, kind of separate them a bit. Um, I just feel like for me, it makes it easier and I get less tangles when brushing. And then next, I use a paddle brush to brush it all out. My hair is pretty long, so it's a little bit harder for me to get quote unquote true to vintage looks because I don't have the appropriate hair style. My hair is like all the way down to the bottom of my back, um, but it works. Oh, and I'm using a little bit of pomade here just to help style the curls even more, just a tad, but just something to keep in mind. Um, for today's style, I decided to not brush it out as much as a traditional, more 40s style. I was inspired by these photos here. I wanted to leave it fluffier and curlier. You could brush it out more if you wanted to. And the way I styled it was that I pinned it on each side of my head, sort of in the way of the reference images that I showed you. And then halfway through styling, I decided that I wanted to create that little dent at the back of the head that you see in a lot of 40 styles. So I added some duck clips all around, and then I added some hairspray, left that in for a while, and then finished up pinning up the other side of my head. And once I was done styling, I took them out and then I was done. That was it. We're done. I hope that with this style, you guys are sleeping better because I know that's one of the biggest complaints in the vintage community that it's such a pain in the butt to sleep with rollers, pins, um, all these types of different things. So yeah, with this, I am sleeping great uh, and I'm getting some very good curls at last. Like this video, if you liked this video, um, subscribe so that you can come back for more. I would love to have you back on here. And as always, sending you guys a super duper big virtual hug and I'll see you with another video very soon. Bye. Can I make your uh, theme song? Yeah, make my theme song. No, no, that one will get copyrighted.